Kittywake is a common gull with some 370,000 pairs breeding, yet it is rarely seen far from the sea. It is a small, neat bird, halfway in size between black-headed gull and common gull. Juveniles and young birds sport a distinctive and bold black W mark across the wings. There are, however, several other gulls that also show a similar pattern, including several desirable rarities. As always, it will be a combination of light and dark markings, together with the jizz, that should help us arrive at a confident identification. As a starting point, we will look at separating kittiwake from perhaps our most familiar and common small gull, black-headed gull. This species also has wing markings until it reaches full adult plumage, but these markings are rather messy, with a brown diagonal across the upper inner wing and scruffy black markings along the trailing edge and wingtip. The overall impression lacks a strong, noticeable pattern, but all black-headed gull plumages share one characteristic feature, a white wedge on the leading edge of the outer wing, and this is visible and distinctive, even on younger, more heavily marked birds, and will act as a definitive ID feature for flying individuals of any age. Young kittiwakes, on the other hand, have a strong wing pattern, with a neat black bar running along the leading edge of the outer wing and diagonally across the inner wing, leading to a strong impression of a black W. This W contrasts with a grey back and forewings and large white trailing wedge along the hind wing, a bold and clear pattern. Young birds also sport a short black collar on the nape of their neck, which doesn't extend onto their backs. Little gull is a much scarcer but increasing passage species which has attempted to breed. As its name suggests, this is a small and dainty gull found along our coasts and at inland waters. Its small size and buoyant flight gives the impression of a tern rather than a gull, especially when seen dipping and rising in typical flight. Young little gulls share with Kitty Wake the black W mark on the wings, but the pattern lacks the crispness of that on Kitty Wake. The hind wing wedge is grey rather than white, meaning that the wing pattern is nowhere near as striking and there are more messy black markings on the wingtip. In late summer, when juvenile gulls will be encountered, the birds show a black back patch, dark collar and black scalloping across the back, which makes identification simple. But this patterning is quickly lost as the birds molt into first winter plumage, although the unique presence of a darker grey secondary bar can help if the bird is seen well. Our next species is a very rare visitor from the Arctic, a bird of myth and mystery, Sabine's gull. This is the only species that displays the W wing pattern throughout its life. The wings are very neatly and crisply marked, with black outer wedges, a shining white hind wing wedge, and the inner wing wedge being mouse grey in youngsters, or slate grey in adults. In all plumages, the inner wing marking continues across the back of the bird, the only species to show this solid pattern. Almost only ever seen offshore on the western coasts of Britain and Ireland, this is a slightly smaller bird than Kittiwake, but shows a longer tail, which is forked, although this is only noticeable at close range. In poor light or seen from afar, it is very easy to confuse Kittiwake with Sabine's gull, and great care must be taken if Sabine's gull is suspected. Body proportions differ, however, with Sabine's gull having a relatively small body, making the wings appear almost over-large. One final species, perhaps the holy grail for many birders, is Ross's gull, a very rare vagrant and one you are unlikely to happen upon while surveying. Young bird's wing pattern is most like that of little gull, which it also resembles in terms of size, jizz and habitats. A distantly seen individual is likely to be overlooked as a little gull, which is a good enough find in itself. If seen more closely, the key feature of Ross's gull is the unusual wedge-shaped tail with just a tiny black tip. All the other species covered here have full black tail tips in non-adult plumages. The wing markings do differ slightly from little gull, with key features being the lack of a grey secondary bar, a pure white trailing edge, and the white extending into a wingtip wedge. In addition, young Ross's gulls have a plain grey back, lacking any black markings or neck collar. <laughs>